Salam everybody. I have a young patient here with unilateral nasal blockage. For months and months on, I want to do an endoscopic examination in the local anesthesia and saw a mass in the nose. I use a Jobson horn probe with a ring curate side for probing and you, I see that there is an insensate soft mass in front of me which do not need to touch. The mass is not attached to the underlying structure. You can see here. Whereas the turbinates are sensate to touch and they are fixed structure. You can see the inferior turbinate here and the middle turbinate above. Now I want to see whether it is attached to the structures where it is coming from. As you can see, this is the attachment. It is coming from somewhere in the osteomedial complex here. Now I want to go back and see that how far back is it going. See here, I'm going in the back and I'm seeing that it is prolapsing inside the nasopharynx. Whenever the patient tries to swallow saliva, the mass moves. That helps me because the turbinate do not move because they are attached and the mass here moves. It is not attached only by a stalk. As you can see here the stalk. This is, we all know, is an anthroconal polyp. Typical presentation, it has a coinal part. And you can see the nasal part here and it has a stalk or the antral part it is coming from inside the maxilla or maxillary sinus rather and the surgery also has the same principles you remove the mass and you remove the attachment inside the maxilla we're going to review the surgery in the next video thank you